Hello, it's me, it's Grud Sob Monkey. How are you? How are you doing? All the things. And uh, a very small note before we get started. Um, this video is being recorded in the winter times. So I've got my scarf on and I've got my new shoes on. I've got some new shoes. Yeah, nice and snuggly, nice and snuggly, snuggly, buggly for the winters. Anyway, um, welcome back to another video for the Letters of Music series. It is the turn of the letter W, of course, as you might have guessed. And we are looking at Jeff Wayne and also Wen Young. So let's start with the album, shall we? Let's zoom in on the album. Zooms in. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Look at that. That scary thing on the front. That's a Martian fighting machine. Um, because this is The War of the Worlds. Um, a studio double album released by Jeff Wayne in June of 1978. It is based upon the War of the Worlds science fiction novel by H.G. Wells. Um, it's presented as a rock opera and has an all-star cast, including, amongst others, uh, Richard Burton, who is the narrator and the voice of the journalist, uh, Justin Haywood of the Moody Blues, uh, he is the singing voice of the journalist, he does the sung thoughts and things, um, he features on the single I'm going to include on the Spotify playlist. Um, we have David Essex, who plays the artillery man, and also Phil Linnett of Tin Lizzy, uh, who plays Parson Nathaniel. There's a few other people in the cast as well, but they are the four I think are the most well-known. Um, this album won two Ivor Novello Awards. Um, it's very good. It's very expansive. As I say, it's a double album. It's 95 minutes long. It does take a lot of time to absorb, but it's definitely worth it. It's one of the best things I have ever heard. Honestly, it is fantastic, and it doesn't sound dated at all. Um, however, um, oh, my voice. Jeff Wayne thinks it does sound a bit dated. He did a thing um, in 2011. He produced a new version called The War of the Worlds and the Next Generation. Stole that one from Star Trek, didn't he? Stole it from Star Trek. Um, yeah, and that's got um, Liam Neeson is the, uh, the voice of the narrator and the journalist. And Ricky Wilson of the Kaiser Chiefs is also in it. Um, it's good, but it's not as good as this version. Anyway, let's move on to this one over here, this single over here. This is When Young. Uh, it's called Never Let Go. Uh, this was released in 2019 uh, on Flying Vinyl and also features as the single for their debut album, Reasons to Dream. Uh, they are an Irish trio, as you can see here, there's three of them. Uh, they were uh, formed as a band in Limerick, but they now live in London. However, after the release of their first album, um, they became a duo, because the guy on the left, the guy on the left is called Niall, he left the other two, uh, Aoife and Andrew, and uh, Aoife and Andrew are now carrying on as a duo instead. And they're currently working on another album. Um, I don't have a lot else to tell you about this band. Because I don't really know a lot about them. And the internet has not helped me at all. Other than telling me that uh, Niall has left. Um, yeah. So instead I'm going to take this opportunity to plug the Spotify playlist instead of course. Two tracks from War of the Worlds. And the two songs on the single from When Young. Will be on the Spotify playlist. Which will be linked in the description. And also in the Patreon uh, comments and stuff. So go off and listen to those if you wish. Um, there are now three videos left in this uh, in this Letters of Music series. Um, which means we're not far away from starting a new series of Letters of Things. Um, there's still time to vote on that if you're on the Patreon. Uh, if you're watching this on the public version on the YouTube, I'm afraid we've already voted for that. And you'll find out what that is soon, I suppose. But yeah, go just the votings. I've got to go figure out what I'm going to do for X and Y and possibly Z. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing for Z because we might have a bit of a problem. I'll get to that when we get to the video because we might have fixed it by then. Uh, I guess we'll find out when we get there. I will see you soon. Okay, bye.